Hello. I am back with another crochet video, a new one this time, as you can see by my braided hair. Um, today I am going to be doing the free dress Niagara. Let me see that. I'm trying to figure out a way to work with the light in my basement. So it's a uh, free dress Niagara. I'm using color OP430. And for some reason, I bought one pack of number four, so I'm going to put the number four in the back, and then I'll do the rest around it. So the OP430 is pretty much um, 30 mixed with number four, but at the top, it's all dark. There's no four up there, I think. Excuse me, there's no 30 up there. Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be like an ombre. Maybe that's what the O stands for. Okay, so eh, it's basically what I've been doing, mixing the uh, 30 and the number 4. It's already done, but they got it all in one clock, so I don't like that. I have to separate it anyway. You know, it looks like at the top is actually a 1B or a 1. See how it's really dark and then it goes down to that lighter brown? Yeah, so what? This comes in Let me see. It is okay. It doesn't say how long it is. I was trying to find out, but I have no idea. I'm going to say it's probably 20. I think it's 20. I've got all these different kinds of hair on the back with the length, but it doesn't have a length to this on here. Hmm. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to assume it's 20 inches. If I find out different, I'll put it in the um, information box below. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, my hair, I have 14 braids in the front with smaller, closer braids for a part. And then in the back, I have like the beehive. Oops, all that, if I can't tell. So I'm going to get started uh, just to let you know when it's out of the pack, this is what the hair looks like. It's uh, kind of got separations. They're really big though, so I'll just end up making my own separation. I'm sure. I'm gonna see if I can do this without water first. Yeah. Yeah, it's really stringy. I don't like. Makes me think. Well, it'll be easier to separate because it is stringy, but um, I was hoping I could take it and use the ones that were already separated and separate those, but it's just best to just separate it on my own. So uh, I'll get started. I'm going to start in the back with the number four that I have here. That's going to be long. No matter. Like I said, I like it long so I can put it up in my ponytail. All right, let me get the back done. I will... Be right back, okay? All right, so I'm back. I have pretty much the back finish. Let me show you that. Um, if you can see, which I hope you can, this braid is pretty thick. So what I'm doing is piercing the braid so I have half of it going through the braid and coming down. And then when I start working the top, I'll get the top of the braid and um, have the knots like within here so that I can try and cover it up a little bit better than just using these braids. Um, and I hope I wasn't just pointing at something that you couldn't see. But with this hair, this color, this, um, what is it, OP430, I've noticed that most of the pack is 
like a 1B and um, 4, like this. Just the 1B has the 1B at the top and then the 4 at the bottom. You should be able to see the color change on there. Yeah, the 1B at the top and 4 at the bottom. And then it has about maybe five of these golden ones which kind of does not work out very well when you're putting it in um, unless you want just a smidge of color here, a smidge of color there, a smidge of color there. So what I had planned on doing was one roll going around of this color, then the regular color, then the gold, then the regular blah blah blah. But there's not enough in the pack to do that. Just to get this, I had to open five five packs of hair just to get enough gold to do these one line here, one line here, and then what's in the back. So I guess I will just have a small highlighter color. If I known that, I probably would have saved it for maybe the top or something, but it looks done and stuff. No matter. Um, it's showing up. Like when I first started doing it, I really did not like this 30 because it just didn't go well with everything, but now um, that there's more hair in there. I really do like it. I wish it had more of it in there, but it doesn't. Um, normally when I want to mix colors, I just buy a pack of the 30 and then I buy the other colors, which I think I'll do from now on because this just didn't have enough of it in there. So if you're planning on real, real highlights, then it may not be enough for you depending on how you do it. So um, I'm going to finish up and do the rest of it with these uh, 1B4 that's left out of that pack. Um, so, so far I like the hair. It separates very easily. It doesn't tangle up when you pull it apart. Um, it knots pretty easily too. It's a nice, that texture that's like um, the ocean wave texture and stuff. It's um, a yappy texture. Thank you. So um, I'm going to show you how I'm knotting it. And then I'm going to finish up and I'll get to what I guess is going to be my invisible part. I don't even know why I bother with the invisible part because I'm just going to probably put it up in a ponytail and rarely wear it down even though it's so pretty. Oh, by the way, oh. <laughs> I'll show you where it falls at full length. So that's where it's coming. Full length. <laughs> right? Yes. If my chest was at the right place, it would come right below. Well, it is below. Even with this cheap bra on, it's still below. Okay, so maybe it's 22? I don't know. Somewhere it has the length on it, I know it does. So anyway, let's get to the knotting. <laughs> Alright, here. Okay. Um, let me just say something first. So since I do wear this in a ponytail, and I take it and lift it up like this. I have the uh, pieces of hair pretty close together on the first row. And then usually I would spread them apart on the rest of the rows. But since the second row is the only row that has the color in it, I put those closely together so I can have an even amount of color through there. So now that I'm doing the third row, I'm going to start spacing these a lot further apart because I had uh, 14 braids to start with. And it's already pretty thick, so by the time I get done with this side, it's going to be crazy thick. And I need it thicker here to cover up where my hair is thinning. And it's uh, further apart spaced. So for these one, two, three, I'm definitely going to go lighter on the rows. Um, I'm debating putting bangs in. Um, every time I do it, I regret it. But there have been a couple times where it turned out cute and I kind of want to do it. So let me show you what I'm doing here. So I'm just putting the latch hook through, hooking the hair on, closing the hook, pull it through, open that loop, and take my other hand, open it up all the way, put the hair through, and I'm doing it four times. So one, two, three, and four. And then you just pull that knot up. 
Now, I notice sometimes when I go to pull it up, the knot seems kind of loose. It won't um, really knot up. If you take it and kind of turn it a little bit while you're pulling on the bottom, it will tighten up completely and you'll have that little knot that will hold. Because if you don't, if you just pull it up and you feel like the knot is kind of loose, it may come loose all the way, but just kind of turn it and pull and then you'll get it to stay. So let me go ahead and show you one really in depth way that I put this in. And if you're new to crochet, I'll just do this one. It's something that I do like to do, even though you don't need to do this with this hair because it separates so easily. <coughs> but I think a little water right where you're going to knot it helps it to knot. Okay, so what I do is take the hair and get it even. And I like stick my finger in there right where it's even. Okay, so then I hold it with that first finger, stick my thumb through, and then kind of turn it so that I have my pointer finger and my thumb in there. And then I take the other fingers and hold it. So I'm pulling on it and I'm holding it with these. Then you kind of spread your fingers apart so that you have enough space to hook on. Okay. Take my latch hook and I usually kind of pinch so I know where I want it. Um, when you pinch, you pretty much have it a finger width apart. So I'm doing it a finger width apart, which means I put the hook on the outside of my finger and then that gives me that finger width apart. So when you pull through, you have your, ah crap, stupid light. You have your hook open. Can you see that it's open? Okay, you can see that it's open. So then pull and taut. I take the hair, oh wait, make sure that's open, and hook it onto that hook. It's now hooked onto the hook. So then I take the latch and close it then pull through and then we're back to what I just showed you before. Stick a finger through there, open it up, get rid of this latch hook, open it, get rid of it. Take your other hand, put that finger in and your thumb, you got it open and then you just grab the hair, pull it through once and you take this and turn it halfway. Put this piece of hair through those two fingers. And then take it and grab it with these two like you did before. Pull that through and turn it halfway again. Two. Three. And turn it. Pull it through and four. And then you pull it up. And like I said, when you first pull it up, you see how I have that loose knot there? Even though I'm pulling it up, it's staying in that loose knot. So what I'm going to do is pull on this and kind of turn that knot until it tightens up. And it will tighten up when you get it at the right spot. All right. So now I have that tight knot. I don't have that loose hair anymore. It's a nice tight knot. And that's it. It's in there. And I have it a finger width apart. So I'm going to do it again in a little quicker motion. And like I said, wetting it helps to hold the knot in. You really only need to wet it right there. So I got my hair hooked on my finger, pinching it, going in on the outside of my fingers, put the hair on, close the latch. Pull it through, open it up with my finger, take these two fingers, one, two, three, and four. Pull it up, turn it. And there's another. One more. 
and then I'm gonna get this stuff finished. Even up the hair. The hair is tapered at the end, so it doesn't matter that you're even it up because it's still gonna have that tapered. It's not gonna be like a blunt end where it'll look weird. And when I have hairs that have a few that hang off of them like that, I just go ahead and cut those off that are hanging. Just the ones that are hanging, I'm not messing with the actual taper part of the hair because I don't want it to be a blunt end. Now, if you cut your hair in half, then you won't do it like that because it will be. All right, finger pinch. Latch hook. Open. And we're going in. Man, you can see that can you? Come on, focus, focus, focus. I have got to find somewhere else to do these videos. I think the light is too bright. That's what's messing it up. So that row is done. I'm going to do the same thing for this one, and then this one, and then these. I will put them close together, like with the other ones. Um, still debating on that bang. So if I do the bang, I'll take the full length of hair, and then it's like you're cutting it in half, so that'll put it at that length. And if I do the bangs, it's a decent length for a bang because I'm still holding back behind my ear if I need to. <sighs> I'll think about it. All right, I will be back. Hello. Okay, so I'm almost done. I have like half of a braid left. Um, this hair is really cute, ain't it? Like, damn, it is so freaking cute. So, I'll have to see how it lasts through time, but initial thoughts, I kind of like it a lot. Now, what I don't like is I can't do a freaking invisible part, but hell with a freaking invisible part, because I'm just going to put it in like it's going to go in, and it'll be how it'll be. Hey, Sarah, Sarah. So what I'm doing, I've got this side done already. Hey, there's a spot that you need another piece. I'll go back in there. Okay, anyway. Freak! I wish my lighting was better so you could see what the hell I'm doing and what I'm talking about. So what I'm doing for my part, I'm putting the hair really close together, and instead of the knots like I was doing before, I'm doing kind of a messy knot to kind of give it a little bit of texture at the root so you can't see the knots that well. So over here you can see like the braid, but you don't really see the knots knots. Well, with my lighting, you probably don't see anything. Yeah. But I'll show just in case people can see and if you want to understand what I'm talking about, I'll show what I'm doing. So get a small piece of hair, and then you're going to go in very, very close to the last one, like almost right up underneath it. Hook on, latch it, pull it through. And then instead of the four twists, I'm going to do two. One, two, pull it through. Then... I take a small piece from one side and a small piece from the other side and tie this into a knot. Now what I don't do is move this piece of hair out of the way because I want some of it to get caught up in there. Well I moved it now but initially I didn't. 
because uh, when I tie that knot, I really wanted that hair to get caught in there. So if you have a little bit of, I don't want to say tangle, but a little bit of texture to it at the root, which is what it's doing to kind of hide the fact that it's a knot. So let me show it again. And usually I smooth and like wet this, but I don't want it wet because I want it to, uh, I don't want it to lay flat. I want it to get caught. So I'm going in very close to that last one, practically underneath it. Going up, grabbing that, lock it, pull it through. Twist twice. One. that knot, grab a piece from one side, small, small piece from one side, and a small piece from the other side. Let that go, don't move it out of the way, let it stay right there, and do the knot. You can see how some of it gets caught up in there. Well, that got a little bit too much, it made a loop. Okay, I just pulled that out, so, but it got caught up in there and it's making it frizzy at the root and another one and we're good to go and you don't really see not 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 well hell <laughs> you do now but if i don't pull it down you don't see it that of course pulling it you know uh, let's see another one actually i want to go up in there where i see that little bit of scalp i'm gonna put one in there Be careful if you're going in here and filling up knots because you don't want to grab a piece of hair that's already been latched in. You're going to knot up really badly. One, two, pull it. Find a piece of hair from one side. Find a piece of hair from the other side. Stop that. Don't move it out of the way. Pulled in there with it. And a second. Really get that knot in. And so that should have that part filled. Yeah. Mm. You really want to be careful when you're going over to the other side because if you pull a piece of hair from the other side, damn it, will you latch? What is going on? I can't actually see the damn thing. I don't know. If you pull a piece of hair from the other side, then you're going to mess up your part because you're going to have hair, a line of hair going through there. Okay. All right, one and two. Here, small piece of hair, and there we go. leave that right there, knot it, and knot it again. All right, let me finish this off and I'll be back. I think you have what I'm doing. Ugh. Be right back with the finished horror. Joy, I'm finished. And it's so pretty, I love it too. Mm. I hope you can see it. 
<sighs> I love it. Alright, so there's what the part is looking like now. It's like midnight, so I'll probably go in and shut it off a little bit, like right here. Yeah, I'll shut that off and then kind of fill it in over here to get rid of the rest of the part. I just don't feel like it now. I'm tired. But it's probably so what is today? Today is Saturday, March 16th. Oh, it's 11.51, so it is still Saturday, March 5th, 16th. So I'm going to try my best to not be lazy and go ahead and post this video on the actual day that I did the hair. And then I can come back and review it, and you'll be in real time, even though I don't have a good track record with reviewing hair and posting it in time. Uh, let's see what the back looks like. Man, this is one of those hairs that you just got to keep messing with because it's so damn pretty. Come on. So here is the back, which I haven't even looked at, so I hope it looks okay. If it doesn't, I'll fix it. But for now, this is it. Lovely, lovely wave pattern. <sighs> yeah, let's see. So extra, but I really do like this hair. It's so pretty. Um, so I did 14 braids, so it turned out pretty thick. Uh, you probably really don't need that much unless you like it nice and full, which I ain't mad at it. I'm just curious how it's gonna look when I go to put it up in a ponytail for work. It's gonna be a big ass, thick ass ponytail. <sighs> I would try it now, but I just got my hair braided and my head is sore from being braided and being latched, so ah, I don't want to do it. Oh, it's not that bad. Never mind. Okay. Ah. I don't have a ponytail holder. Oh hell. Yeah, I'm not as good. Ah. I need a ponytail holder. Yes, I do. <laughs> this ain't gonna be a real ponytail. Oh my god, that is thick. I can't eat it. You can see the highlights on the whole thing. Alright, that's fine. So, When I do my real ponytail, I'll fix it up a little bit better, but because I usually tie it off three times, so it's a nice tight ponytail. So this for now needs to be more towards the back. Mm. Eh, it's okay. Um, like I said, I'll manipulate it a little bit more when it comes time to go to work. And it's just work, so who gives a sugar? I don't. But I think this looks a lot better down. And this kind of gives you some idea of maybe how it would look if you did cut it in half. Just ignore the parts. 
so it's even cute in a shorter style. <laughs> Not so much of a sorty bit right now, but at this length it's still All right. Okay. Sorry. All right. Uh, that is pretty much it for this video. This is uneven. I'm not gonna cut it though. You guys. That's better. I'm gonna have to figure out something else to do with this because I don't know about that ponytail it wasn't really working. But that is it for this video. Once again, this is Free Tress Niagara in the color OP430. That's what this is. OP430. Uh, initial thoughts. Love the hair. Love it, love it, love it. It's a wee bit thick, but I love it so much. Man, if I wore it down, I would have no problem with it whatsoever. Like, shit. Man, why do I have to have such a dirty job? Because I sure wouldn't wear it down. The last thing I wanted to do was fall on some sick patient. I'm gone. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them below. I will leave as much information as I can about the hair. So please read that before you ask a question because if I have wrote it down, I will not answer that question. All right. I'll see you next time. Um, I don't know what I'll do for the next video, but maybe by the time I come on to show a review of the hair, I'll have figured it out. It's probably going to be an ocean wave. Uh, hair because that's what I thought I was going to wear on vacation but now that I have this in I think I might want to wear this one instead because I am really feeling this hair big time <sighs> thank you see you next time ciao okay I had to come back on for a second because I just remember something I didn't say uh, so this is a total of four packs of hair, four full packs of hair, plus I took the uh, blonde parts out of two packs of hair. So it's four full packs and then the blonde uh, 30s out of two other packs, which is about 10 strands of hair. So that's it. Bye.